Hello folks, my name is Jen I'm from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one has to do with Senator Rick Scott and the IRS. So Senator Rick Scott discourages job seekers from applying at the IRS. You heard right folks, this comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com, home of breaking news, political headlines, and political scoops. So make sure you bookmark that website. So it says Florida Senator warns job seekers to avoid the IRS because he says it will only be a short term gig. So it says Florida Senator Rick Scott has a message for job seekers thinking of applying to work for the IRS. He says, don't bother. The Republican lawmaker penned an open letter on LinkedIn vowing that his party will roll back the hiring of 87,000 new tax collection agents for the IRS. That was a key provision of the Inflation Reduction Act, which was signed into law by Biden on Tuesday. It says the hiring of new agents is part of a $80 billion investment into the agency, which the Democrats say is necessary in order to boost tax collection from wealthiest or from the wealthiest Americans, which is 100% false. Rick Scott is telling prospective IRS employees not to get too comfortable in their new jobs. So if you already got a job at the IRS and you're one of the 87,000 new hires, he is saying, don't get comfortable in that job. You're about to get fired pretty soon once once we take over the House and the Senate. And for those that are seeking jobs and want to apply at the IRS, he's saying, don't bother because this is only going to be a part uh, uh, just a short term gig. You're going to get fired as soon as you go in. So apply elsewhere. So let me show you guys the um, the post that he made on LinkedIn where he said, Dear Job Seeker, I've always believed that a job is the very best thing for a family, providing the independence and opportunity every American needs to live their dreams in our great nation. I applaud your search for a new opportunity, but please consider several factors before submitting your application for Biden's IRS police. Okay, so... Why is Rick Scott calling it the IRS police? It is because when it was announced that they were going to hire 87,000 new people, the IRS put up a job description on their website, in their career page, on their website, the IRS website, where it said, shockingly, that all new hires are supposed to be okay with carrying a gun and using deadly force if necessary while executing their job. Using deadly force. We're not talking about a police force. We're not talking about the military. We're talking about IRS agents collecting tax money. That is complete insanity. Rick Scott vowed that Democrats plan to defund the actual police and create an IRS super police force will not be tolerated by the American people. So at the same time that the Democrats want to defund the police, defund the military, defund federal agents, they want to give billions of dollars to the IRS super police and fund that instead. That's how crazy these people are. And not only that, falsely saying that the 87,000 new agents are going to be for the wealthiest Americans, which is false, beyond false. So Senator Rick Scott published a U.S. Senate memo that he made public where he said, Dear American Job Seeker, I've always believed that a job is the very best thing for a family providing the independence and opportunity every American needs to live their dreams in our great nation. 
Sadly, the big government policies of the Biden administration has caused the labor participation rate in our country to drop to historic lows. So the willingness of folks like you to get to work and earn a living for yourself and your family is admirable. With that said, I write to you today to offer a few things for you to consider as you continue your job search. As you may have heard, Democrats in Congress passed a bill soon to be signed into law by Biden, which it did on Tuesday, which provides $80 billion in additional taxpayer money and drastically grows the workforce of the IRS by adding roughly 80,000 new agents. This massive expansion of the IRS will make it larger than the Pentagon, the FBI, Customs and Border Protection, and the State Department combined. So that means that the IRS will be the largest, the largest federal group, federal agency in government. He went on to say, quote, Well, some of you might find the idea of working for the federal government appealing. I'd urge you to please consider the following before submitting your application over to the IRS. One, these new positions at the IRS will not offer you a long-term job stability. You may, you may expect from a position at the federal government. Put it another way, this will be a short-term gig. Republicans will take over the House and the Senate in January, and I can promise you that we will immediately do everything in our power to defund this insane and unwarranted expansion of the government into the lives of the American people. And two, it is important to understand that in the initial IRS job posting for those positions, which the agency has now taken down, the IRS made it very clear that one of the major duties of this new position is to be willing to use deadly force. We're not talking about joining your local police force or even the U.S. military. This is the federal agency charged with collecting taxes. The IRS is making it very clear that you not only need to be ready to audit and investigate your fellow Amer hardworking Americans, your, your family, your friends, and your neighbors, but you also need to be ready and be able to use, in the IRS's own words, willing to kill them in the process. And that's exactly what is said on that job posting. You have to be willing to carry a gun and use deadly force to execute your job. That is the reason why they're calling it the IRS police or the IRS super police. Now, as we reported in the past, the Democrats are saying, oh yeah, don't worry. If you earn under 400000 there's nothing for you to worry about. They will only target the wealthiest Americans. But they're using the word wealthy very, very loosely. What do they mean about wealthy Americans? To some people, wealthy can be making more than $100,000. We never know. But according to the Biden administration, if you make less than 400000 nothing's going to happen. That is 100% false. We made a report a week ago that the only ones that are going to be affected in this whole situation, the Inflation Reduction Act, the IRS hiring new agents, more audits and stuff like that, is going to be the middle class in small and medium business owners, sized business owners. They're the only ones that are going to get 
attacked the most. But let us know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments section below. What do you guys think about what Senator Rick Scott said? Will the Republicans do anything in case they do retake the House in the Senate next year? Would they be able to do anything? Or do we have to wait until the 2024 election to see if we get a new president in to overturn this despicable and disastrous bill called the Inflation Reduction Act? Let us know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe. Click that notification bell. We want to know your comments, your suggestions, your opinions in the comments below. If you guys missed your previous videos, they should be coming up on your screen. Share this video on social media and don't forget to visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com for all political, breaking news, news headlines from all over the country, political scoops and everything else in between. Thank you so much, folks. We hope that you are having a blessed day. God bless every single one of you guys. And I will see you guys on the next news report coming very soon. Make sure you are subscribed and the notification bell are on. The thumbs up is clicked and you share this video on social media. Thank you so much. Peace.